Hey guys, so I'm actually about to film just like a what I ate today video. It, there is no watching calories, nothing. This is just like what I've been, not what I've been eating, but it's the mind frame I've been having is just like eat whatever. <laughs> I'm not on track. So this is a what I ate today off track. So I'm going to show you what I'm eating right now, right here. So this is the first meal that I'm eating. I kind of just winged this. That's like what I've been doing for all my meals is just throwing stuff together. But honestly, it seems like every time I do come up with something, it tastes really good. So here we just have some pasta. I cut up some onion. There is some tomato. I did add some corn. There is a tiny bit of pesto. It just adds the smallest bit of flavor. We have garlic salt, onion powder, pepper, and I think that's it when it comes to seasonings. Oh, and the tiniest bit of like a chicken broth. I'm talking like the smallest bit ever. And then I also put some butter. So this is my first meal. It looks pretty tasty. And I am using my phone light, so that's why it looks like that, because it is dark. My sleeping schedule is horrible. So, first meal. So, here it is. Amberlynn's eating on camera. What are we gonna do about it? I don't even know. It's so good. I haven't had pasta like this in a long time. Like. My favorite is angel hair or the bow tie. Also really like shells. And then for a drink, we have sparkling ice, classic lemonade. So I almost forgot I was filming a video and it's been a little bit since I last updated you guys and I'm having another bowl of pasta. And yes, we can be sad together. My nails are now short again. <sighs> I'm pretty upset at myself because they were growing and they looked good, especially when I had them like painted. And uh, <sighs> now they're back to being short. <sighs> My nerves is just really getting to me. So I bit them off without even thinking about it. It was like two nights ago, but oh well. Okay, you guys, so it has been some hours. Next thing I'm eating is some Captain Crunch in my Pioneer Woman bowl. So yeah, and we're also gonna watch a movie. We started Now and Then. We've been, okay, first of all, we've been watching a ton of movies lately, like five movies a day. And we started Now and Then last night and then Becky started falling asleep, so. Now we're gonna continue watching that and I'm gonna have my cereal. Hey guys, so it's actually been a few days since the beginning of this video and I accidentally stopped recording what I ate today for the day, which was a few days ago. I did write down in my phone what I ate that I didn't record because it was like right before I went to bed, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to record the last few things I ate. So I did have another bowl of cereal, but it was live cereal. I had three spring rolls and I had like, I think about six Oreos. So it was a very bad day of eating, which I told you that's probably gonna happen, so. So every single morning as my first meal, before I do anything, I'll have a water and a smoothie. In my smoothie, I put Chobani Greek yogurt. I use about a serving of this. I have frozen fruit with it. Today, I'm gonna to be using triple berry blend, which is blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. And then I put spinach in it, which I don't even taste the spinach in the smoothie. I know spinach is very, very good for you. So if you guys don't like spinach or you do, put it in your smoothie and you won't even taste it. Like, I promise.
ta-da! I mean, this takes one and a half minutes to make. And it's super filling, it lasts a long time, and I love it. So at Ruby Tuesday, I got the New Orleans seafood which is tilapia with a cream sauce and shrimp so instead of having like two sandwiches i like to make four half sandwiches so what i normally do with that is i just add the smallest thinnest layer of mayonnaise always and then I have chicken or turkey lunch meat. And I never have bacon, but this time, like I was just feeling really hungry and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have some bacon as like a little crunch. So I went to open my lunch meat, which I just bought like literally three days ago. And I hadn't opened it or anything. And as I opened it, it smelled so gross. So gross. I was like, okay, maybe it's just my nostrils are playing a trick on me because I've never had this brand before. I looked at the date and it was expired. It was expired before I bought it. And you know something really weird? I always look at expiration dates, but I trusted this because usually lunch meats are very long lasting for the most part. So I was like, I don't need to look at the expiration date. This just goes to show that I should probably start doing that when it comes to lunch meat. So thankfully, I had rotisserie chicken left over from the night prior. I was able to warm that up and use that for my lunch meat, which honestly was super good. So what I would have changed about this meal, I am leaving this meal with some regret. I feel like that's something that I need to really focus on per each meal. Did I leave the meal satisfied, happy, proud or do I feel regret, guilty, shame? Those are all things that I need to pay attention to every single time I eat something. So the things that I wish I would have done differently, I wish I would have only made three halves and I wish I would not have put bacon. So that would have drastically lowered the calories. I wouldn't have had the guilt. In return, I would have ate less chicken. Is it the most unhealthy meal? Probably not, but it's still like not up to par for me. And I feel like when I have the lunch meat, like I don't use the bacon. Another thing I wish I could have changed about today is I wish I would have upped my water intake. The only time I've had water today has been at the restaurant and I had one and a half glasses of water. And I could definitely tell because I am having some fluid retention, which is not good. Like I can tell I'm retaining water, like in my hands, my feet, my legs, even my face.